cracking, y'all. It's cracking, world. It's your boy, TWS Toon. It's your boy, Sway Shadows, with your favorite show. Slippery, Slippery Slope. Slope. Climbing again. What's cracking, like? What's up, world? I mean, I, I know y'all enjoying this wacky weather we have in Philadelphia today or and across the United States, but, uh... Out here in the frostbite of frostbites, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm any other episode, we have some hot topics off the knock of the day for y'all. We do, we do. We uh, we approach the day with some uh, productivity in mind. There are things that we want to get done, and there are messages that we want to get across. So they gotta be said. Things that need said, need saying. And with that in mind, come to my first topic. Yep. And that's uh, it was a question more than anything. You know, it's just, do we know what it is to climb? What is it to climb? Can we can we feel it when we're on the ascent? Do we do we know how to recognize when we're climbing higher and higher? Is the elevator going up or is it going down? Do you know? Sometimes we get on that elevator and it it doesn't feel like we're moving at all and we're just there. Sometimes we question if the elevator's moving at all. But lo and behold, we're on the we're on the 57th floor. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes life's like that. Sometimes life feels like the elevator. It feels like we're we're stagnant, like we're not moving, like we're not climbing. Yet higher and higher we go. Closer and closer to our living visions. We are they who climb. As long as we take the ascent. Oh shit. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to feel it. You're not gonna be normal. You do. It's, you're not gonna see too much comeback or playback or what's that word? Uh, Feedback. You know, nothing. You're not gonna receive good. exactly what you think is going. You putting out there is not gonna be reciprocated. You know what I'm saying you, but you're not gonna see it. But you you go you gonna see at the end of the road it's going up. Like you're going up. And it's like it's un, it's, it's, it's it's unimaginable how feel how good it feels to to reach the goal. You know, it's not always about what we should be doing or how we should be living along the way. It's about the glory of the journey and the beauty of reaching the peak. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what the process is. Enjoy it, whether it feels stagnant or not. If you're climbing, then appreciate the fact that your efforts are not in vain. If you're climbing higher and higher, reaching new valleys, new plateaus as you climb, remember that you're higher than you were before. Right. Higher than you were before you chose to take the last ascent, the last job interview, the last project. The last big push for your relationships, for your skills, your abilities, your hobbies. Every time you choose to, to invest in yourself, you've climbed a little higher. You, you're climbing. Climb. It's a slippery slope. Slippery slope. Definitely mm -hmm. slippery slope. Man. Talk about slippery slopes and this <laughs> weather. It leads on to what I wanted to talk about today. Cause I had a crazy night last night. You know what I'm saying? And I wanna tell this, I wanna talk to you people what happened last night that I was saved, but I was saved by it. And I was saved by a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. A seatbelt. And teamwork. Mm -hmm. Dude, I was on the highway and my man hydroplane, we hit a wall, had our seatbelts on, the windows cracked, it cracked. We could have flew out the joint. Right out the windshield, we could have fell off. But you know why? We ain't seatbelts, G. Seatbelts, baby. Seatbelts. I didn't know how important it was, my nigga. I didn't. I, now I know why they is ticking it, clicking it, ticking it some places and, and law cracked down on it and all that stuff. Man, I don't want to sound like they're a bearer of bad news, guys. But, man, click that John, like. It's like, how often do we, do we overlook the precautions? How often do you fail to read the directions when it's time to put something together? 
There's rules for a reason. There's rules to the game, ain't there? Real shit. There's rules at work. Rules at school. Rules when we walk in the street. I mean, they're put in place there to keep you safe and keep order. Okay? Order, baby. Order like for without, society. Safety for you. I mean, without either of those, man, there'd be chaos. And nothing good comes from chaos. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, like I'm uh, saying, like, Put that seatbelt on. Whether you're going to either to the corner store or to a long distance or anywhere, man, just be safe <laughs> because <clears throat> at any moment anything can happen. You know, like the slightest bit of anything can yeah, things go distort wrong. your car and you can lose your life, especially in these vehicles nowadays that are basically all fiberglass and you're going to break the fuck apart and it's going to be hurt, be baby. You gotta be mindful of your safety precautions. Be mindful of the fact that when you're driving, you're being safe. You know that things can happen. Accidents happen every day. You know, be mindful of, of traffic. Be mindful of your speed. Be mindful of, of your ability to get yourself to and from. Right. It's like be you're, safe, like, baby. You gotta be safe, man. I can, you can use that with every everything in your life. You know what I'm saying, take yeah. the safe way to do it. I mean, it's better to do it safely and right than to do something rushed and you end up having to pay back or lose sure. stuff that you worked so hard to get in the first place. You know what I'm saying, my dad used to always say that um, instead of rushing to get somewhere, leave five minutes sooner. You know what I'm saying? Word. Take the necessary steps to complete your goals and complete them properly. I say it all the time. Things need to be proper. People need to act accordingly. They need to be safe. Okay. And they use them seatbelts. You know like you said, man, he, I gotta say that I always live by myself. Is uh, if you're, if you're early, you're on time, and if you're on time, you're late. So with that being said, let's put the seatbelt on of life and Good. tackle this world, you know what I'm saying? Tackle your dreams and keep on climbing up this slippery slope, man, because it's a slippery slope, you know what I'm saying? That is. <laughs> that oh, is God. that, man. And, uh, you know, so if we can recap, be mindful of what it is to climb. <coughs> Know that even if it starts to feel stagnant, even if you start to feel like you're not in motion, you are because you've chosen to. You're investing in your dreams. You're getting up. You're going to work. You're getting educated. You're practicing your skills and your hobbies. You're making better relationships with your neighbors and your community. You're investing in yourself. You're climbing. And as we climb, we need to be mindful of our safety precautions. Mindful of those seatbelts in life and in traffic. When we're in traffic, be mindful of our surroundings, our environment, the conditions. Sometimes the same drive, the same experience is just a little bit different because the conditions change. Now there's ice on that street. Now, you got to move a little different in traffic and in life. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of those precautions. Mindful of our climb. And as usual, don't let yesterday's mountain affect tomorrow's climb. It's a slippery slippery slope. slope.